Is Hoyoverse pulling Genshin Impact off of Twitter? Well, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say conspiracy theories, but a lot of speculation that that's what's going on. But a lot of people haven't really been talking about, like, what exactly is going on with the Genshin Impact Twitter accounts. Because right now, we're waiting for drip marketing for both Genshin Impact and Weathering Waves. The funny thing is, is that the timing of everything just makes so much sense, but not a lot of people are talking about it. At least not creator-wise. So I'm going to be the guy to talk about it. I wanted to at least deep dive it a little bit and come up with my thoughts on everything that's going on. So before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, help me out here. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subs before the end of this year. And we got a month. So come on. Early Christmas present. Help me out here. And of course, don't forget to check out, obviously, the ever wonderful, amazing gamer subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. I'm trying to get my own cup. I need y'all to help me out here. So use code TYSTRA. Buy a lot of stuff to help me out here, okay? I, I'm asking for a lot, but yeah. Let's just go ahead and dive into the actual shebang bang Now, as you can see, we have a tweet pulled up. This is a tweet that was posted up by uh, Genshin Impact's JP account here, from what it looks like, or something or other. But um, yeah. I don't know if this is like the actual official account. It's very weird because it's like Genshin underscore seven. So I don't think that this is the actual, I don't know. It's, it's tough to say, but there is this little snippet right here that was posted on the same day, November 11th. Uh, and this is like basically some thing like a, a, talking about the new area, right? Well, under it is this, and we got to translate it here. In addition, announcements about version 5.2 and future in-game events, as well as explanations of some events, will be posted exclusively on Hoyo Lab, Genshin official channel. Please check Hoyo Lab for related event information. Now, of course, even if this was not an official, like, Genshin Impact, you know, account, which I'm pretty sure it is, if I remember correctly. Like, Genshin set underscore 7 is kind of weird, but... I digress. Even if you could say like this somehow wasn't the official account, right? There was a statement made on the English Genshin Impact account here on November 8th. And this was after the 5.2 special program. And a lot of people missed this. Even me. I wasn't paying attention to this. Um, it even says, in addition, version 5.2 and subsequent game event announcements and some event descriptions will only be released on Hoyo Lab, official Genshin Impact channel. Travelers can go to Hoyo Lab's site to view the corresponding event information. Now, this is normally usually double post on both X and Hoyo Lab, but it's very weird that they would post this as in addition will be exclusive to Hoyo Lab. Now, First off, before we dive a little bit deeper, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Minato's Flash. He's a Dokkan creator that also talks about Honkai Star Rail. And he pointed this out in the chat that we had. And again, honestly, I'm surprised I missed this. And I even told him, like, why is nobody talking about this? And the big answer is, we don't know. We don't understand why nobody's talking about this. I tried checking other, you know, getcha tubers. I haven't seen anything, but I could be wrong. Maybe somebody did bring it up. Hopefully, I'm the first one because, God, do I want the views, baby. I'll be 100% transparent on it. But I digress again. Let's let's stop talking about me and let's start talking about this. Now, the speculation kind of comes from a recent terms of service that has been updated. Now, of course, it doesn't make entire sense when you see November 8th and with the, you know, terms of service of Twitter, a.k.a. X, having an update on the 15th, which was my birthday, um... But at the same time, this could have been announced like before. I don't know if they did. I, I personally don't pay attention too much to the terms of service. But there are some new terms and conditions for X, right? And Elon posted these up. You know, I, I did see it. I just didn't read them, obviously. It's like that South Park episode with, uh, you know, what was it? Uh, iTunes? Nobody pays attention to the terms of service. But let's go ahead and read this little snippet here that I put. Hold up. A new terms of service document, which took place on November 15th, allows Musk to use tweets, photos, and videos, even from private accounts, to train Grok, the uh, platform's AI bot. You agree that this license includes the right to, to us, or for us, to I, analyze text and other information to provide for use and training of our machi machines learning and artificial intelligence models 
whether generative or another type. The terms say under this section about users' rights. They also stipulate that users' content may be modified or adapted for other media, which means that they could take your like media in general and they can adapt it to whatever they want. Now, of course, we also know uh, during the last pre or this current presidential campaign, Trump has had or established that Elon will be a part of his cabinet. Um, now, I'm not a political channel. I'm also not very political. You know, I live in the United States. You know, it is what it is at this point. But this is pretty big, you know, and if this is affecting you like game companies and they're pulling out, this probably isn't the only ones that we're going to hear from. Now, again, the only stipulation, at least from this, is that this was announced on the 8th, right? This is on the 8th right here. It says that. So this is seven days prior to this new terms of service. However, companies, I think, do get to know what the terms of service are going to be a little bit beforehand. I don't know. I'm just speculating on this. It's only an assumption. Um, however, it is a big coincidence if, if that's the case, right? If they, Or if it's not the case. So very, very weird that they're going into this exclusivity thing. But they're not the only ones. I did confirm that... Uh, Yo Stars, the maker or the developer of, uh, you know, Blue Archive and all that, uh, Arknights stuff, actually pulled Twitter login viability, uh, meaning that you used to be able to log in via Twitter, aka X, to your games. Um, and yeah, it, they've pulled that feature, it looks like. So, very, very strange. Um, and again, it's, there's also other possibilities. And I'm not the type of person to just, you know point out the one speculative thing here there are other things that could have happened well while yes this post clearly did show that Genshin impact is going to be posting more exclusively on hoyo labs it could be that the reason why we haven't gotten any drip marketing is because the game awards are just right around the corner uh we got the nominees up and it's going to go live on december 10th which is well before 5.3 so we might see an announcement there we have seen that before with al Hytham, or Genshin Impact, but that doesn't explain why Kuro Games hasn't done drip marketing. And dri and they could also be waiting too for you know the video game rewards. I don't know. This is again all speculation. So I want everybody to take this with a grain of salt. Like it could be that this is just a huge coincidence somehow, and everything is hunky dory. They're going to be posting again. However, from their own words, right? From their own words that we see on the screen right here. In addition. Version 5.2 and subsequent game event announcements and some event descriptions will only be released on Hoyo Lab Official. Now, there's a couple things, too, that this could really benefit, at least the company itself, right? And I'm not here to say let's praise the $1 million or $1 billion company. $1 million is freaking easy for a company nowadays. Um, I'm not saying that we should praise them for making this decision, right? Like it is what it is. They're gonna, they're a company. They're gonna make their own decisions. You know, even if like ten thousand of us were like striking, you know, and saying don't do this, they're not gonna care. Even a hundred thousand, right? They've shown that. Like, just look at our anniversaries for Christ's sake, right? So, but I will say that this is a benefit in a way for them, and it's also a gamble. They might be trying to get more people to go to Hoyo Lab to actually get like you know their official website more traction. Hoyo Lab does get a good amount of traction, but it definitely doesn't get amount, the same amount of interaction from what it seems like as, say, their X following. So maybe some of that X following is now going to have to log into Hoyo Lab to really be able to engage with the community about other stuff. Some users, probably like myself, will probably pull that information and take it to X unless there's something that says they can't do that. Now, it's public, if it's public information, probably not going to be able to stop anybody from actually posting on X, but it will lead to some skepticism, I guess, because it's not coming from the official channels. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's a very weird situation. I don't normally talk about this stuff. So for me, like it's kind of a weird thing to kind of fully grasp even what I think about this, but I will also point this out. Even though we had this po this post here, and I'm going to switch back right here. Even though we had this post on November 8th, right? If we go to Getchin Impact, right? And they're saying that they're talking about events and all that stuff. There was a recent post from them on the 17th, literally this week. And we covered this in a video too, about, you know, the banners. So to me, 
Like, it's very weird. Like, if they're really going to be posting exclusively to Hoyo Labs, why hasn't there been at least some sort of thing in regards to official drip marketing? Because even if it was posted on Hoyo Labs, it doesn't mean that it wouldn't be posted on X. Because some people would probably pull that information from Hoyo Lab and post it on X. And then we'd say, hey, it came from Hoyo Lab. That, like, that's cool. And we have it on X and we know what's going on. Hell, it could be, again, like I said before, that they're waiting for the video game rewards. It would make the most sense when it comes to that. But again, this is all just speculation, right? It could just be, again, another freaking coincidence that all this stuff is aligning to make this whole thing just not work out so i don't know i definitely want to hear y'all's opinions on this in the comment section below um if you are a reactor as well react to this let me know what you think i want to know your personal uh opinions on this because for me it's not very worrisome but it is a very weird thing that could cause a lot of backlash because i'm pretty sure a lot of hoyoverse genshin impact players are going to be very very pissed off with this and I can already tell you now there was a couple that just were just annoyed by this, especially on the JP side. But again, I digress. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Of course, check out the ever wonderful gamer subs again. Use code Tyson for 10% off. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.